It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Good morning. Good morning. And came around here. There you go. Good morning, guys. CJR here, and once again, I'm joined by Game Riley. Ted. Teddy. Spotting the garage sale signs that we've already been to, Teddy. <laughs> we've already hit two sales on the way to Matt's house. Um, like 50 sales listed today. Uh, it's kind of it definitely slows down this time of year so if you guys see this episode that's a good sign but uh, most likely I'll probably find one or two little bundles but uh, there's a good chance that we just won't find enough for you to even see an episode today so hopefully you know right now if you've seen this that we found some decent stuff we had a pretty good weekend last weekend uh, with the uh, turbo graphics so oh, yeah. um, anyways beautiful morning Hopefully we find something, but uh, I kind of feel, it, it's kind of weird, but I feel like pressure's off at this point of the year because it's kind of out of my hands at this point. Um, we just kind of, you know, drive around, hit sales when we can. Whereas in the beginning of the year, it's like, oh, we gotta go to this community sale. We gotta try and hit a hundred sales and we should come home with a trunk load of stuff. This time of year, it's just kind of, uh, I don't know, no pressure to, to find anything because it's actually, Likely that we won't find a whole lot, so it's uh, kind of nice. And um, yeah, and we're off, and we're gone. First pickup of the day. Uh, went to a sale, asked if they had games. The kid said he had some Xbox One stuff, pulled that out, nothing I really needed, but he came out with a PSP and a basket. I asked for Game Boy and stuff, and this was sitting in there. I tried to negotiate everything for 20 bucks. Most of the games were missing from the cases. Didn't have the charger, was pretty beat up. Uh, they said that they were going to look for the games and they said that they actually had to ask the dad. So then I was just, this is what I really wanted. I was just like, okay, well, how about I give you five for this little thing for now? And uh, I'll come back in a little bit and you guys can get the PSP stuff together and I'll probably buy that from you too. Um, it's a 101. So I got this for five bucks. SP 101. It's a candidate for a mod or a new shell. It's pretty beat up, but came with uh, one game inside there. I'll show you what it is when we get home. Um, Teddy or Andrew is stuffing his face full of donuts. <laughs> <laughs> got a Lego set that's unopened. That's pretty sweet for three bucks. And Matt got something that he definitely shouldn't have got. A VCR. He's way too excited about a VCR. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Three dollars. Three dollars. It's a, uh, for three bucks, yeah. it's a Sony. It's actually a good one. So yeah, I don't know why he wants it. I want to collect VHS team. This will last about 24 <laughs> hours. So. <laughs> Stay tuned. Here's a teaser. The Gamer Alley show is now coming to this channel. So you guys will start seeing weekly or bi-weekly Gamer Alley show so you can keep up with what the heck Matt is doing with uh, his buying and selling on the CJR channel. Of course, if you're not into Gamer Alley's video, then just don't watch it. But it'll just be an added piece of content that we'll be able to add to this channel. And then any money I make, I told Matt that I'll, I'll give him on those videos. So... So I'm excited. So watch those videos if you want money to go to Matt. You're, 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 I think each of you will be a couple pennies or half a penny. So anyways, on to the next sale. All right, latest pickup. Uh, it's still before eight o'clock. We've actually hit probably close to 10 sales, so not too bad. Teddy, what'd you get? Uh, this escalator and, and this forklift. That's cool. How much were they? Uh, five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> So not the greatest deal on those, but uh, I got them down on a skateboard for Teddy as well. Uh, picked up a couple records, two bucks a piece, hot chocolate. Every one's a winner. I actually can't remember what they sing. I don't even know if I know any of their songs, but I'm gonna definitely check that out when I get home. And these are all in good shape for two bucks. Uh, Barry White, Can't Get Enough. Uh, Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation, that's kind of cool. Uh, bon Jovi. I don't even know why I buy Bon Jovi. I had one rule at my wedding: no Bon Jovi. Pink Floyd relics. This is the own. This is one of the few Pink Floyd albums I actually don't own. So really happy to find that. Uh, introspective. Pet Shop Boys. 
And another Elton John album, that another one that I didn't have. I've never actually seen this one before. Sleeping with the Past. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the, a massive Elton John fan, but uh, I do enjoy some of the tracks. Uh, Betty and the Jets is one of my favorites. Right? Yeah. yeah. How does that go? Benny in the jail. Oh. All right, a couple more pickups picked up. This guy, Wrinkles. I thought Wrinkles was a boy. Maybe they just dressed it in girls' clothing. I don't know. This is a pound puppy. Got it for three dollars in really good conditioning. Really good condition. Uh, it needs a conditioning. The clothing needs to be washed. Other than that, it's in great shape uh, for three bucks. So this is Wrinkles. Let me know if you guys remember these. I had these as a kid. They're basically like stuffed animals you can put your hand in there and make it talk uh from the 80s but i thought wrinkles i could have sworn i had wrinkles but wrinkles never had a girl's outfit on i think these maybe were like extra accessories you could buy i don't know let me know in the comments there's different know. colors three bucks no. then pass it to me so i don't have to go near your junk thank you <laughs> uh picked up a ps3 slim no cords no controller dirty but the laser looks good i'm taking a bit of a chance got it for 10 bucks it's a double round um, uh, AV or uh, AC power cable, so I've got plenty of those and HDMI, and I have a controller. So for ten bucks, that should be a pretty easy flip. I actually like the super slim models. Uh, and the boys got each a stuffy, three bucks each on those. We already showed those, and I got something really cool in the trunk that I want to show you guys. We got some life jackets, but a uh, pretty cool toy set from the 60s that I kind of was familiar with as a little boy. Um, it involves puppets. There's a bit of a teaser. So I'll show you guys that when we get back to the house. We have enough for an episode. Woo! Might not be the greatest episode, but we got enough for an episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nine o'clock. We've hit quite a few sales, so I'm pretty happy with how we've done so far. Woo! Latest pickup, um, back at the hoarder house again. A couple weeks ago, I picked up a box of random video game stuff. What was in there? Remember I pulled out a Virtual Boy manual. Was there a Mega Man game in there maybe? I can't remember. Yeah, I think Mega Man 3. A bunch of three. NES games, couple super games. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, but she had a bunch of stuff out again. I left her my number. It's where I grabbed that Turtles, um, Turtles van little arcade racing yeah. toy thing. And uh, she said she would call me if she had the parts. As soon as I show up, she's like, oh, I found your parts. I'm like, well, can I get them? She's like, no, they're in a box. <laughs> She's got a ton more video games. She said she's going to post them on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm like, I got a bunch of money in my car. I'm like, would you let me take a look? Last time she let me in the house. But she's like, I'm going to put them on. I'm like, well, you have my number. Would you at least call me before you do that? You have to call me anyways to give me my turtles parts that you apparently have but aren't giving to me. So she had a bunch of stuff out on the lawn. They've got some really cool 90s toys. I got a glimpse at them last time, but I'll just, I'll, I'll just do it. Um this cool pinball thing. All their stuff, like it's a hoarder house, but their stuff's in good shape. I don't know who this is made by. Electronic Thunderball, in nice condition. Pin, little pinball game, five bucks for that. Uh, two bucks for this. Uh, two bucks for this Don't Wake Daddy uh, video uh, board game, which I think is from late 80s, early 90s. And then a little bit of Wang Chung. Little bit of Wang Chung tonight. Matt's got a little way in the trunk. <laughs> what do you call a mu musical insect? What? A humbug. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> One of Andrew's recent pickups, a joke book. Um, we just made this big pickup, not a bad deal. I was flipping through these 360 games that were all in really fantastic condition. Um, he had like five and 10 bucks on most of them. So as I was leaving, grab the DVDs down there. DVDs? Mm -hmm. Remember? Oh yeah. We're I grabbed this. Grabbing, to grab it here. Um, and as I was leaving, I'm like, ah, let me hit me, let me hit him with a walkaway offer. Uh, I picked up this Mr. Dress Up box set. Mr. Dress Up is like a kids show here mm. in Canada. Mm. And then on the way out, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hit him with an offer on the whole box. I offered him 80 bucks, and he thought about it, which I thought he was gonna kind of scoff at based on the prices. They were all priced at five bucks or more. And uh, he said 90, so 90 bucks for this entire bin. And I'm pretty sure there, I, there's definitely between 85 and 90 games in here. So a dollar a game, all in really good shape. I'm gonna keep what I need and then uh, trade off what I don't. So nice pick up there. Where did the mad book go, Matt? Oh, it's, it's down here. I can't get it. I can't reach it. You have one job, man. I'm here. One, I don't wreck it. one job. Try not to wreck it. 
Uh, we stopped. Andrew got that joke book. I got a Matt goosebumps. got a goosebumps. I can't and I picked up this Mad Magazine compilation. Oh. Teddy got a book. What's it called? This is C Hidden <laughs> Treasures. That's the one he wanted. Of the sea. So it was nice. It was like a book sale. It was actually kind of sweet. The, the girl gave us this thank you card. Um, her and her friend run a camp for um, in, Kenya. in Kenya. So mm. she's like, the money is going to a good cause. And it's signed yeah. by all the kids at the yeah. camp. I think that's pretty cute. So yeah. uh, I gave them an extra. I gave them 10 bucks yeah. just as like a donation, yeah. which they, they were pretty happy yeah. about. So. Um, anyways, we are still going for a little bit longer. I guess we're not because it's already 11.15. I gotta get Matt to work. Yeah. Once again, yeah. Matt's reading this one. So, uh, if we find anything else, you'll see it. If not, I'll see you back in the basement yeah. after we drop this guy. He did. Matt just spilled coffee on himself. I watched him turn the cup on his own pants. Good job, Matt. <laughs> Stop it. That's not a good way to Let end. me go in. So we picked up some dollar drinks. Only dollar. Yeah. All summer. Thank you. It's, it's and big, we're dropping it's Matt, size for Matt off at work. Yeah, sorry, Matt, go ahead. It's any size for a dollar. It's a commercial for McDonald's <laughs> here. If in case you guys want to go in Canada. <laughs> All right, Matt is going to work. And, and we're going to hang it with Bobby after. Oh, yeah, work. right. So yeah. Bobby's coming down. Uh, Dr. Smitty. Yeah. He's still Dr. Smitty. He, he, he's Geeky Smitty now. Geeky Smitty. He's coming down from Minnesota, so we're going to go hit some retro game stores. <laughs> what the heck? Sorry. I caught that on camera. You're cheap. That's what I have to deal sorry. with. <laughs> Go to work. Oh, guys, Matt dropped coffee on his fan. Yeah. Sorry, I did. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Right, bye. Close, almost got you right in the face. Whoa, what's this game? Captain Marvel. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Here we are, back in the game room. I am. Soaked through well, I soaked through my previous shirt because it's so hot out right now uh, We had a pretty good day as you can see there's a lot of stuff up on the table here The boys are gonna quickly go through their stuff so we can get to work here. So this won't take forever. Whose is this? Mine. Okay, let's show them go Husky, Husky and a wolf. Malamute, I don't know So those were three dollars for both so three or no six for both three dollars each Mal from pet of life he says on the Life name tag, yeah, okay. and he's roughing at the squirrels. Ruff, ruff. Toss it. Show them your puka shell necklace. Hey now, you're an all star. It's from the 90s, I was telling him. I never actually wore one of those, but my friend sure did way longer than he should have. Uh, this is a pound puppy, is that what I said? Yeah, from the 80s, three bucks, good shape. Talked about it in the car, gotta wash the outfit. Yeah. Uh, next, show them your cars, Ted. I got this. A forklift. A forklift. Uh, got this. I have something cool. You can, can open it. Motor excavator. And you can. Where's the pallet skid thing for this? Oh, I can bring it inside. Okay. And then show them this, Ted. And I got this. You can open the door. Okay. Show them your badge. Officer Teto reporting for duty. Uh huh. Ta da! <laughs> like you put this right in here. Huh? Perfect. Okay. Deputy. Um, okay, we picked up a skateboard for 10 bucks. Just nothing special. It's not great. It's probably like a store brand one, but perfect for the boys. Still on my kickflip mission, if uh, well, I haven't really tried it lately. Rubik's Cube. Free Rubik's Cube. Um, picked this up. Jesus on VHS. Teddy asked me if I believe in Jesus. And I said no, because I don't. But I said, if you guys want to base your own opinion, we pick this up and we're going to watch it. And then you guys can uh, decide whether or not you believe in Jesus. Okay, we picked up at that initial sale, yeah. talked about it in the car, a uh, GBA SP 101 for five bucks. Let's see if it actually turns on. And it's amazing that these things hold a charge that long. Where's the monster So truck? this will most likely be a case swap or some sort of model doing this. It's a pretty beat up. Got a picture frame, picture frame for, for some artwork that Andrew got at his fun day, fun fair. Mm -hmm. A local guy, I don't know, he's a pretty good artist, was doing some comic book drawings. So, Happy. which one's going in here? Yeah, 
Skeletor, I think. Skeletor, yeah, you did a cool Skeletor. We got these from Matt. Picked up another. I couldn't pass this guy up. I don't remember these in Canada, but this is a Digistar TV. 13 inch, five bucks. It's in really nice condition, came with a remote. I'm most likely gonna put this uh, somewhere where just for testing consoles. And we got this. Right, McDonald's toys or Mario's Mario toys are back at McDonald's. So we got Matt picked these up for us. Mm -hmm. uh, Peach, and Yoshi, and like a multi-character one. Now we're adding more to our. Okay, Ted, goes. I need you to get your trucks and this out of here. Okay, I need room. Go put it over there. <laughs> PS3 Slim for ten bucks. Hopefully it works. No cords, but I have the cords and a controller here. Oh, you want? Did you show that? No. Okay, show it. Lego set. Sealed. It was sealed. Lego set for three bucks. Pretty nice deal there. Andrew loves putting those together. Can I show this one? Yeah. So this is electronic Thunderball. I'm trying to find a date on this. I would guess 80s at some point. Made by Playwell. Pretty cool. Nice condition. Uh, five bucks on that. And I spotted it. Matt, Andrew found that. <coughs> Pick this up. Don't Wake Daddy board game from the, let's see, 92. <coughs> I love these old, like, 90s mechanical board games. Looks like everything's in there. I hope that's the case. Nice condition, too. Two dollars. Cheerio! You're done? Yeah. Okay. Away you go. Yep, take that up. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, okay, I'm gonna get this big box out of the way. I didn't show this yet, but uh, I was actually, when I was looking at garage sales this morning and planning my route, I saw this in a picture and I was like, wow, that's really cool. Um, it is a, um, oh my God, I'm forgetting the name of it now. Oh, the rocket. Dummy. I can't remember the name. I'm drawing a blank. I just said it earlier. Not the Rocketeers. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. Anyways, amazing playset. It was a show from the 60s, I believe. I think my dad said that he used to watch it. Why can't I remember the darn name? I'm coming back. Great. Thunderbirds. The Thunderbirds, really cool show. Um, it was all puppets and just like really cool kind of miniatures in this uh, pretty cool 60s show. It's kind of the basis of uh, Team America World Police. It was kind of based off this aesthetic in the show. Uh, I think it makes sounds. Thunderbirds are cool. Oh. Thunderbirds blast off. So it came with, I think it's complete. If it's not complete, it's pretty darn close. Uh, whoever owned this took good care of it. I'm pretty excited about this for 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's got all the little characters. Uh, this is really cool. I think this is a pretty and good deal. Uh, I found this for it. For my Some interesting portrait. Hot Wheels in here, Ted. Oh, can I keep it? I think so. I don't think that goes with this. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. That, that looks, looks that Hot Wheels actually looks old. So I have to look up to see what exactly came with this. I, I doubt this is from this set, but I don't know. Can I play with it? Um, pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty excited about this. So, yeah. Thunderbirds playset for 20 bucks. Can I play with it now? Um, not right now, buddy. Aww. Please. Ted, I think you should go. I yeah, it. you've shown your stuff, and I gotta, I gotta get through this video, man. Go up and play with Andrew, okay? Take your, take your cars. Mm -hmm. Later on, we're gonna watch Jesus. Learn all about Jesus. Teddy, do you believe in Jesus? No. No. Okay. Let him make his own decision. Okay, on to the records. We've got Billy Idol, Whiplash, Smile. I couldn't remember if I had this one, but it was cheap. I ended up, I picked up a bunch of records that first time around uh, that I mentioned in the car, and then I came back to that guy uh, to see if he still had them. This was a sale that was kind of tucked away. I had a feeling no one had gone there. I left a Pink Floyd the wall there, and I wanted to go back and see if it was still there. Um, so yeah. These ended up being, I got 10 more for seven bucks. So just over a dollar each. 
Julio Iglesias nonstop. Pick that up because I don't think I have it in the collection. Bon Jovi, more Bon Jovi. I don't know why I'm buying those. I hate Bon Jovi. Robert Palmer, Riptide. And here is a copy of Pink Floyd, The Wall. Um, of course, I already have this, but it's in pretty good condition. And like when I check the, the records, yeah, like this might even be an upgrade from mine. These are in really nice shape. So I uh, decided to go back and grab that. Most likely I'll, there's one or two guys at work, including my the CEO of my company who are into uh, vinyl. So I might actually just give this to him. Donna Summer, uh, The Wanderer. We've got a Beach Boys album. Is this self-titled? No, Made in USA. I, I have like so many Beach Boys albums, but I don't believe I actually even have this. I'm taking this plastic off because it's a bifold. So that's actually never even been opened. I don't think I have this one. Yeah, Made in the USA. Looks like an earlier album. Uh, maybe not. I'm not an expert in the Beach Boys. Uh, this was a single pickup at another garage sale. This is Samba Soul, uh, recorded in Brazil. So he said it's not bad. It's just one that he had enough of. Um, he had a bunch of that style of music. And he's like, oh, I just thought I'd part with this one. Dollar for that. Interested to see what that sounds like. <laughs> Sleeping with the Past. Again, I already showed these. Introspective, the Pet Shop Boys, Pink Floyd, Relics. I'm excited about this one because I'm pretty positive I don't have this. Bon Jovi. Ugh. Taking this off. Just... Okay, sorry, battery died. This is Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. Happy to find that. Really nice condition. Barry White, can't get enough. Uh, Wang Chung, and I already showed this hot chocolate. Everyone's a winner. Ditch that case. Hot chocolate, I don't know. I'm guessing the title track, Everyone's a, a Winner, is probably one of the well-known ones. I think it's more disco. I was hoping there's more kind of funk, soul. Uh, okay, so yeah, some decent, Final pickups actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Just over a dollar a piece, between a dollar and two each. Uh, got through that, got through that. Uh, like I said, yeah, Mr. Dress Up box set, kind of cool. If you're Canadian. Uh, the Mad Choice Cuts Special Collector's Edition. Mad Magazine was recently cancelled. This is from 2015. I used to love Mad Magazine as a kid. And I'd actually, I'd like to get more of these. I would love to get like a, ma a collection of Mad Magazines and Thrasher Skateboard Magazines would be awesome. Okay, so now on to the big box of uh, 360 stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's right around 80. We'll count them at the end. I'm just gonna quickly go through and stack them. Um, some stuff that I normally don't see, not like amazing stuff, but like at least it's not all Call of Duties. It seems like a little bit of a mix. Uh, and they're all in great shape. So we've got the Price is Right Decades Edition. Definitely need that. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, um, like I said, I'm going to keep anything in here, I'm going to keep that I need, and then trade off the rest. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Um, we've got Wipeout, Create, and Crash. Saints Row National Treasure Edition. Okay, don't have that either. Uh, we Are the World, the story behind the song. got Skyrim. You can see he's got 10 on that. Five on most of the rest. Most of them are complete. Um, this is The Force Unleashed 2. Is this Greatest Hits? Yeah. Red Faction Armageddon. <laughs> Star Wars The Clone Wars. Resident Evil 6. The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Pop Arcade, Pop Cap Arcade Volume One. I don't believe I have that either. I'm 
God, it's going to take a while. Mm -hmm. Call of Duty Advanced Mo Warfare something, Day Zero Edition. Uh, Cabela's Outdoor Adventures. Cabela's Survival Shadows of C Cat Catma C Catmai. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. Cabela's African Adventures. Bulletstorm Epic Edition. Love that game. Uh, the Born Conspiracy. I think that was a pretty fun game, too. Uh, Borderlands 2, Game of the Year Edition. Borderlands. Uh, Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War II. Two copies of that. Uh, Battlefield 4. Batman Arkham Origins. Batman Arkham Asylum. Aliens, Colonial Marines, uh, 2014 Brazil World Cup, uh, excited about these two, 007 Legends, so I don't know if this is like, uh, Live the Legend, Goldfinger, so I think you're playing through certain scenes and stuff in, throughout across a, a couple movies, um, Goldeneye Reloaded 007, so I think this is like a remake of 007, of uh, Goldeneye, it, was, it came to the Wii, and then I think this is like some sort of uh, I don't know, reloaded version for the 360. I don't think I ever had that. Uh, Quantum of Solace. Lego Harry Potter. Bunch of the Lego games in here. Army of Two. The Devil's Cartel. Army of Two. Angry Birds Trilogy. Angry Birds Star Wars. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, Dead Rising 2, off the record, Dead Rising, Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, good one here, I think this one goes for a little bit, uh, Deadpool, Activision game, I actually don't have that, uh, this is Create with Your Imagination, uh, Escape, or, wait, Dead Island, Escape Dead Island, I thought it was Dead Island, uh, Fable Anniversary, don't have that. Sounds like it's not complete, or maybe it didn't even come with a manual. Far Cry Instincts Predator. Uh, Fear Files. Uh, Fear 2. Gears of War Triple Pack. Gears of War 3. Uh, GTA San Andreas. Uh, Halo 3. Fighters Uncaged. Game Party in Motion. Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. Medal of Honor. Minute to Win It, Guy Fieri. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Okay, right, so this is the reboot. Uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Platinum Hits. Uh, MX versus ATV Supercross. We're getting there. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. 99 Nights. Finding more and more that aren't complete. Uh, Connect Adventures. Perfect Dark Zero. Here's one I definitely don't have. Motion Explosion. Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition. Uh, Soldier of Fortune Payback. Wheel of Fortune Big Money. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Quake 4, Prototype 2, Prototype 1, Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 1, uh, Rapala for Connect, that's a fishing game, Connect Sports, Connectimals, Connect Joyride, that's one I don't have for sure, oh, this is getting tipsy. Don't want an avalanche again. Right, Ted? Yeah. Lego. The Lego movie video game. Lego in Indiana Jones 2. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. Lego Indiana Jones. Double pack. Lego Jurassic World. Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4. Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Some of these are newer. 
games. 99 Knights 2. There's one I think I actually need. RPG, I believe, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, this is Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. And Lego Batman, the video game. So, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88. So we didn't hit the 90 game mark, so just over a dollar a piece. Paid 90 bucks for all these games, so fantastic deal. Uh, should get us some decent trade credit, and uh, I'll gain a bunch of games for the 360 collection, which I am going for a complete set now. So, um, pretty darn good day. I'm pretty happy with all this stuff. You never know how it's going to go, as I mentioned, this time of year. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, do me a favor and subscribe to see me hang out and get video games with these cool guys. Uh, bye! Till the next episode.